Good afternoon. Uh, we are team number seven. My name is Joao Cabales. You here? And Daniel Castellanos. And we are doing a four bar and slider crank. Okay, so just a quick inter introduction. Uh, a mechanism is a group of links interacting through joints to uh, complete a required motion or force transmission. Uh, this can be a group of uh, mechanisms uh, to complete one task or it can be singularly. Um, they've been used for thousands of years for varying, in varying complexities to complete different jobs. Um, a four bar, now our problem statement, uh, we had to analyze the mechanism by finding all the joint motions, uh, calculate position direct trajectory of, of couple, couple of links throughout the motion, and we had to find a practical application for our four bar, and we had to animate it using SOLIDWORKS 2013. Uh, our problem statement, uh, we had to synthesize a uh, slider credit mechanism using the provided position points that were given to us. Uh, we were also given uh, angles uh, that we had to uh, take into consideration. Uh, we had to run the mechanism through the motion range. We had to pass through the required points and not let the uh, mechanism lock up. Um, and of course, we had to animate it through uh, SOLIDWORKS 2013 and draw the links in appropriate dimensions, also using SOLIDWORKS. Uh, now, a four bar mechanism is the most common uh, type of mechanism. It is a closed loop of four bars. Uh, it only has one degree of freedom. Uh, the most popular and well studied is a type of mechanism is a four bar mechanism. Um, and Grashoff's law determines whether there is a link that can rotate 360 degrees and the possibility of and the possible type of mechanism. As you can see in the uh, diagram below, there's four different types of four bar mechanisms, including the crank rocker, which is ours. Um, also the double rocker, which is this, which is um, consisted of the shortest link being on the top. The parallelogram uh, linkage, which has two uh, different lengths for links. And ours, a crank rocker, has the shortest link attached to the ground. Uh, this is an example of a static crank mechanism. Uh, it is used to transport rotational uh, motion into translational motion. Uh, it is also a one degree freedom mechanism. Um, and it is most often seen in cars and in, in internal combustion engines, which is used in most cars today. So this uh, graph it displays um, what we found for the closure values for one and two. There were 331.95, which is the, what our subsequent, subsequent calculations are going to be based off, and 79.4. This here uh, exemplifies the, the motion for our shortest length in the mechanism, R2. It's ro rotating in a full 360 degrees, and as you can see, when it comes to the first 180 degrees, 180 degrees of rotation, it um, completely reverses its direction to go in the opposite direction to complete its full rotation. This one is, exemplifies the rocker arm, R4. Um, you can see these vertical lines are where it changed directions to going in going back and forth. This is just an image of uh, the trace path of at point S. Um, as you can see, it is the most distinctive feature about it is that it is uh, more oval in shape. The graph on top represents the angular uh, velocity of R3 with regards to time. As you can see, that velocity is changing, um, changing as it goes along. But for the angular velocity of R2, which is the, the one that's rotating, it is fairly constant at 66 um, degrees per second. For the angular velocity at R3 and the angular velocity at R4, as, as mentioned before, go back and forth. As you can see, in both arches, it's going faster in one direction and slower in the, in the other. The angular acceleration for R3 as well as this, these um, gr the graphs for R3 in relation to time were to show us, for, for um, purposes of our calculation, 
how it's relating to how well it is relating to the problem statements that we were given. As we, and for R2, we could, as um, was shown before, the velocity was a constant, so the acceleration would therefore be zero. And again, we have the um, values of acceleration for R2 and R4, which you can see in what, as it goes in one direction, it will accelerate and be decelerated at different um, points in, its, in their respective cycle. So moving on from the, to the four bar application, we use the windshield wiper as our application for this uh, four bar system. Um, which is, uh, windshield wiper performs an oscillatory uh, pattern that revolves, that involves a drive motor and the wiper system which goes up and down as a rocker arm as which you can see here in this example and video that we got from the SOLIDWORKS animation. Um, this is the continuing on with the crank slider synthesis. Um, we determined that the circle of slides radius was uh, 693 inches. Uh, the coupler link arm, uh, which is th this one right here, um, was measured to be 25.02 inches. The length of AB, which was provided for the points, um, was determined to be uh, 15 inches long. Coupler beta, the coupler AB uh, beta angle was of uh, 7.4 D4 degrees. And the initial theta angle at which the uh, crank, crank uh, arm rotates initially is at uh, 74 degrees. Um, the application we chose to use for the uh, crank slider mechanism was a uh, reciprocating saw, which uses uh, the crank arm right here. As it rotates, it uh, slides uh, the slider arm uh, forwards and backwards, providing a, a saw action um, at the ends, exactly like uh, in, in this example. Uh, as you can see, in the, in the, there's a drive motor spinning around the crank arm, and the translational motion provides a sawing action. And this is the animation we got from the SOLIDWORKS animation. As you can see, the crank arm rotates, and the slide arm follows a certain path, which uh, was determined through our calculations. So, in conclusion, Problem statements, um, all the problem statements objectives were met. Uh, we found all the, uh, we synthesized the crank slider arm and we synthesized the four bar uh, rocker crank. Um, we determined that the crank rocker uh, was, the, was our four bar mechanism. Our four bar application was a windshield wiper. We found all the theta angles and the angular displacement uh, as well as the angular momentum and acceleration. Uh, the slider crank was fully uh, synthesized and moved through all three points provided, as you can see from the animation. Um, and the uh, application we chose to use was a reciprocating saw to uh, do that example of the motion. Um, as a crank rotates, it provides sliding action, providing a, a, the, the translation of motion. And that's been all. This is Team 7. Thank you for your time.